Thomas and Duncan came to a junction. Take this old track to the bridge. That's downhill from the other side straight to the Scarlow Railway. Tone's signal turned green. Thank you, Duncan. And he puffed off. But Duncan didn't know the high bridge wasn't safe. It hadn't been used for a very long time. Thomas chuffed slowly toward the bridge. The bridge looked very old, and it was very high, and the rubbing was very deep. Thomas could hear rocks falling into the rubbing. He felt a little scared. I like hot bridges, but this one is really high. If I chop slowly, I'll reach the other side before I know it. We'll turn by we'll turn, Thomas edged on to the bridge. I am brave, and I am strong. I'll chop to the Scholar Railway. It won't be long. Thomas was now halfway across the bridge. The sound of the fallen rocks was louder and louder. The bridge had started to shudder and shake. Thomas didn't like it at all, but he wanted to get to the other side. Then Thomas heard a mighty crack. Part of the bridge in front came away from the rocks. Cinders and ashes. I must get back to safety. Then Thomas started to reverse. He puffed slowly and carefully. Then there was another mighty crack. A large piece of the bridge broke and fell into the rubby below. With the biggest puff that he had ever puffed, Thomas puffed backwards onto the hillside. I'm safe. Just as the last part of the bridge roared and swung Thomas pared down to the broken bridge below. Oh, flatten my funnel. Thomas puffed back to the junction. <laughs>